One of the first things you're going to need to do when you're building a website is register a domain name. And a domain name is just an address to take you to a website. So if we want to go to Facebook's website, for instance, up here we type in facebook.com. So this right here highlighted is their domain name, and it's just the address that takes us to their website. So you need a specific, unique address to take people to your website, and that's what the domain name is. So domain names you can register. They usually cost about 10 bucks a year. Uh, you can register from places like Namecheap, GoDaddy, One and One. I've used all three of those services. Namecheap, in my opinion, is the best. It's cheap, really easy to use. And for any of those services, they have usually have a bar where you can put in the domain name you want, and you can check to see if it's available or not. So let's say I want to buy Hoku's website. dot com. Hit search. As you can see, Hoku's website. dot com is available. So if I wanted to, I could just buy it right now. And as far as picking a name. Don't spend too much time or money trying to get the exact name that you want. Really, if you have a good website, if you have good content, people are going to visit it. People are going to remember it regardless of what your name is. So don't worry too much about the the actual domain name. Um, here are some few basic pointers, though. If you can, try to keep it short. So instead of saying Hoku's new awesome website, well, since Hoku's website is already available. I may as well choose the shorter one. It'll be easier for people to remember. Try to avoid hyphens. That's kind of tacky, and I've heard it's not good for SEO purposes.、Um, and try to get the .com if you can, but it's not that big of a deal if you aren't able to get the .com. When I wanted to build my site, Well Gifted, I went to WellGifted.com and saw that、uh, someone already had it. And I was using GoDaddy at the time, and so I checked on GoDaddy, and I saw you know it's up for auction. So this would have cost me about three thousand dollars. So I was like, well, what other options do I have? And I saw WellGift.co, no, com. Co was available for ten bucks. So I got WellGift.co, and it was only ten dollars. And I'm pretty sure it hasn't had any effect on on traffic. Having the co versus the dot com, and if you look at Vine, for instance, obviously a very popular website. They don't have the Vine dot com. They only have the dot co, and I don't think it's made any difference for them. They've been pretty successful. One thing to remember: make sure you don't put a company's name in your actual website. I registered a domain. It was.、Uh, Well, I, I can't exactly remember what it was, but it had the actual WordPress in it. It was like learn WordPress dot com, something to that effect. And I wasn't able to use that domain name because it had WordPress in it. So if you, it, when you're picking a domain name, just make sure you're not using someone's copyright because you'll probably get a cease and desist letter, and you'll have to change your domain name. So Do some Google searches. Make sure there's no companies out there with the, your same name. Check obviously similar、uh, domain names. So, for instance, with WellGifted.com, I did some Google searches for WellGifted to see if there was a company called WellGifted, and I didn't find anything. So, even though the domain name was taken, there wasn't a company called WellGifted. So, I felt good using WellGifted.co. So, what do you do if Your domain name is not available. You can't use a CO for some reason. You have to have this exact domain name. Again, I highly recommend you just find a different name or try to use a .me .co something like that. But if for whatever reason that's not an option, you can either click here and other similar sites. GoDaddy have a similar feature where you can make an offer. To buy the domain name from whoever owns it, you can put whatever amount you want, but they do charge a thirty dollar fee to use this service. You can also use whois.domaintools.com to track down a, the owner of a domain name, and this is free to use, so probably the better option. So let's say I wanted to buy Hoku.com, 
I can just search it in here and then here at the top it gives me a number of emails of people that I can contact to try to find the owner and negotiate a price if I want to buy this domain name so you may have to send a couple of emails you know send it to a certain person and then they say oh actually you should be talking to this person so you have to send a couple emails before you actually get the owner but uh, overall who is that domain tools com is a great resource in helping you track down the owner of a domain to purchase it but again if at all possible I highly recommend that you should try to find a different domain so you don't have to go through this whole process and spend who knows how much money trying to buy an exact domain